block toolbars and block settings. You can build professional looking web pages with a default WordPress theme. And after watching this video, you'll be able to customize those pages to make them look even better. Let's get started. Containers and blocks. When I'm customizing content on a page I've built with a block editor, I want to know, is this block nested inside a container block? Or is this block a standalone block? To find out, I place my cursor in the headline or paragraph of text. Then I use the block navigation tool to find the top level or container block for that section. I can now make changes such as changing the background color. Tooltips. When the container or block I want to edit is active, I hover over every tool in the toolbar and read the tooltips that pop up. The tooltips tell me what each tool does. This information helps me to make my changes. For instance, this tooltip tells me I can make a selection of text bold. The block settings sidebar. With my block still selected, I turn my attention to the block settings sidebar. I expand every down arrow to see all of the available settings. When I've looked through all of the settings, I make my adjustments. I especially like the built-in styles. When I see a styles tab, I experiment to see which style suits my design best. Here are some other tools and settings I find useful. The nudge up and down buttons. More rich text controls. I use these settings to change the colour of individual words in a headline or to change the colour of an individual sentence in a paragraph. What do you do if the centre alignment button is missing? If I set a block to wider line, but then decide to revert to centre align, this is how I do it. While the block is already set to wider line, I click the wider line button again. This should jump the block back to centre align. Adding a jump link to a heading. I place my cursor in the heading, then in the block settings sidebar, I expand the advanced tab. In the box labeled HTML anchor, I type a single word for my jump link. Now I make a text link or button with the jump link. If you haven't used jump links before, you can read the instructions. The change vertical alignment tool. Some blocks have a vertical alignment tool. I'll show you how this works on the media and text block. First, use the block navigation tool to make sure you've selected the media and text block, not a text block. Then use the change vertical alignment tool to align the text top, middle or bottom. Grouping blocks. First, I add a heading block to my page. Then I click the more options button and from the drop down list, I choose group. In the block settings sidebar, I find the color settings tab and change the group block background color. Adding a paragraph block inside the group. I place my cursor back inside the heading text and select more options. Insert after. Now I can type the paragraph of text, making the group wide width. With the paragraph block still active, I select the block navigation tool and click the top option group. Finally, change the alignment of the group block to wide width. Now it's your turn. Make a draft post on your own website and practice, practice, practice. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.